<laughs> We're gonna see him? Yes, we are! Oh my god! Oh! What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today, we're going to be jumping in Thor's Love and Thunder official trailer, and I'm excited. Not a teaser. This is a full length official trailer, so that means we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff here. I did love the official teaser, it introduced us to tons of characters. I thought it was very well put together. It got me hyped on Love and Thunder, it got me back on the Thor hype train, especially because Thor's last movie was Thor's Ryan the rock and that was a pretty good movie so now they're technically following it up with love and thunder hopefully this one does kind of give it that one-two punch for thor anyway on his solo outings i know he was technically in endgame and all that but let's catch up with thor let's watch his official trailer i feel like we just got the teaser trailer too right i could be wrong but i, I feel like we, i just did the reaction for the teaser trailer but let's jump in and check this out hit and play in one two three and yes we are going to review it at the end of the trailer, give it a score out of 10, like we always do. So let's jump right in. Kids, get the oh. popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the Oh, that's party. this guy. Thor oh, Groot was there. No ordinary man. He was a god. Oh, yeah, because he's with the Guardians. Right, 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 right. Time, Thor set off on a new journey. <laughs> for the 500th time. He went from dead bod. <laughs> and after all that million, he reclaimed his title. Nope. As it went to Shorty. Let's go. Nope. Oh, spoke too soon. Jane? Oh, the, he had the um the classic wings. And she did too. What's it been like? And it like Three retracted. Years? Eight years, seven months, and six days. Give or take. <laughs> My, uh, sensing feelings. Oh, that blue looks good on him. You see the shit? That blue armor. The only ones who gods care about. <laughs> We're gonna see him? Yes, we are! Oh my god! Oh! My vow. All gods will die. Yo! That looks crazy. Very, very impressive what you did back there. They made um son the bad guy. You never forget your Bro. Friend. Oh, that's this guy. Um. Oh, Vakrai is fighting him. Have something worth A little bit of for. guardians. What is Let's that? See who you are? I take off your disguise. Flip too hard, damn it! Oh God! Great. <laughs> Yo. So overall, the trailer, it was fine. It was great. I think it did a awesome job of setting up where we at with Thor and his story arc as, as far as finding himself like they were explaining in the first movie. Like, yeah, he's, you know, he's trying to figure out what, what, what to do with his life now after those crazy events, after saving Earth, you know, five hundred times and you know it's time to get back to his people as guardians and trying to defend and help them and it looks like he bumps into shorty being thor which is like yes 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 let's do it and then of course we see the bad guy um gore the god butcher played by christian bale which to me is like yes 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 i can't wait to see him in this movie like the full take through seeing him in fighting scenes because he's a great actor of course he was the batman before played in american psycho so he has tons of stuff under his belt i can't wait to see him join the mcu officially and be kicking thor's ass in this movie i do wonder if the they're gonna give him the the, the dark version of that sword which is kind of venom sword but i don't know if they're gonna do that yo he is Brolic too. He had <laughs> low key. He got the arms right there. <laughs> low key, low key flexing right there. Like, yeah, I'm taking down gods, right? 
<laughs> he looks ugly as hell. So it's pretty cool to see. And then we get like a close face-up shot of him right here. And he looks menacing, bro. He looks so evil in this shot, yo. And it's crazy because he does look like a regular human. Like, a you know, but he is a god killer. He's basically a god hunter. He goes around and just hunts gods and kills them. Or being a thunder god, he's probably next on that list. So it's cool to see um, that crossover and kind of, you know, make sense for him to... Be, you know, show up for this occasion. And Thor, anyway. I do want to know who else are they fighting here? And who else do are they fighting when um he meets Shorty? Because that, that that that's one thing that I'm I'm kind of interested in. It's it's cool that they got a little pack going on right here. They are missing Bruce. I understand Bruce is probably on Earth with uh with She Hulk, but that, that shit would have been funny as fuck to see uh Bruce as Hulk. Chilling with Thor in this one. Or at least somebody from the Guardians. I wonder why is he in this place fighting. I'm pretty sure we're going to find that out. Uh, as well as why is everything black and white here. You see this? Like what's going on? Is this just for the shot? Or is this for something else? Whoa, she's like in a like, temple. You see? Oh. Okay. Got little gods in the background there. Okay. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> Thor, Love, and Thunder. And then we kind of get the the comic relief, the you know him blowing off the clothes of Thor and all the ladies f like basically fainting. <laughs> you blew too hard and they all fall. <laughs> Why is this guy all like? What? Look, is this guy in the back? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this guy's not even looking. This guy is not even looking at Thor. <laughs> he still faints in the background. <laughs> look, look, look. look at this guy faints and then look. <laughs> I can tell this is going to be a funny one. This is definitely, it, it definitely is trying to relive the vibes of, of, um, God of War, Randorock. And that, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That was a good movie. Hopefully they do. Where are they? That, that he's fighting these people with these, uh, clothes on. It does look pretty cool. It's definitely a funny trailer. Definitely a good trailer. I'm going to have to give it an eight. There's, it's while the Christian Bell reveal is great and all. This would have been. I just noticed uh, the the guardians were all there. You see uh, Chris Pratt right here. You see Mario chilling at the bottom of that rock right here. You see Mario chilling right here with Nebula. Yeah, you see all of them here. Group. You got the little girl looking at the camera face for a shorty. <laughs> then Thor doesn't even care who these people are to be honest. I don't know. It's, it looks like some alien people. Yeah, even with the reveal of uh, Christian Bale as uh, as Gore the God Butcher, it, 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 this is sick. This does look good. I'm just, uh, I I feel like they're showing a little bit too much. If that makes any sense, of him, I feel like they're trying to like humanize him almost. I don't know what that what that means because is Thor gonna just kill him in the end of this movie? If that's the case, then why kind of? I guess it's Chris Bale and you have to flex him. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I was you know you're more scared of the bad guy that you you don't really see. You know what I'm saying? The 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 hitting bad guy. But I guess he's out there. He's making himself known and he's killing gods and destroying planets. What the fuck is this? And then this. What is she fighting with? It looked like she was fighting with like a thunderbolt almost. And then Thor with the lassos. Again, I'm going to stick to my grade. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this an 8. It's a definitely a solid trailer. I, I, I guess I was just looking for that one big cameo, that wow moment. And I guess they were betting on Christian Bale, um, Gore the God Butcher, to be that character, that that wow moment for people. Now, I'm just expecting way too much crossovers and, you know, you know, multiverse stuff and other, you know, Marvel cameos to be hitting and stuff like that, which is probably are. I'm just, it's probably going over my head. But either way, I can't wait to see this Thor movie. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of the Thor Love and Thunder trailer. What score would you give it? Again, I'm going to give it an 8. 
Let me know what you think about that score in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking movies, Call of Duty, Fortnite, games, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.